Let's talk about the pitching pairing. Zach Wheeler for the Phillies. He came close in the Cy Young voting in 2021, finished second behind Corbin Burns. His opponent tonight, the impressive left-hander Shota Imanaga, eight years in Japan. His first nine starts were lights out. ERA under one. He's come back to earth a bit since. Bryson Stott is ready to dig in for the Phils. And that's just a bit low. That just missed. Ball four. Doesn't use it very much, but it's in there. Swing and a miss. Turner is gone and a strikeout. And he gets a big man in their lineup. This one popped up. Shallow right field. Horner gives way to Bellinger and Belly makes the catch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. As Imanaga gets Castellanos with the fastball. Stott stranded at first. One away. 0-2. Oh, and that one up the middle and it'll get through. Michael Bush with a single. Just having a really solid rookie year. Swung on, hit high in the air, center field. Well, this one will stay in the ballpark as Rojas out in the late day sunshine will make the catch and kick some deals in the pitch. Popped up. Shadow center. Rojas coming in. He's there and he's got it. No runs, a hit, and a man left by the Cubs. And the half leads off the bottom half of the second inning. That is Rick right field and a touchdown. And that's going to roll into the corner. Castellanos over to dig it out. And Happel Cruz into second. And Ian has a double. Lead off double. Better cash it in. And a call. Strike three on the outside corner. Enough. Over to third. Merrifield throws him out. So here's Pete Crow Armstrong. Hitting at 188 this season, one home run, 13 RBIs, left-handed batter against the right-hander Wheeler. Pico Armstrong lines one, fair ball down the right field line, and that's going to score a run. PCA to second, it's an RBI double, and the Cubs have the lead. One zip. Showed it back to work. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Rojas is gone. He's already got four strikeouts. So now Marshawn. He was one for seven in the series against the the Marlins. There's a high fly ball to deep left center field. Haps going back and this game is tied. That's about 15 rows up in the bleachers. It's the third home run of the year for Marshawn. It's a 1-1 game. How do you like me now? Swing and a miss. Stock is gone. And a swing and a miss. And Ibanaga has struck out. A half dozen. There are a couple of guys in this lineup: Bellinger, Horner, Hap. All had some some success against Wheeler. And that one just off the outside end. And a strike three called. Swing and a miss. He's been tying guys up with that pitch on the inner half. That was the splitter. Four strikeouts. Two down. Tap at first. Be Crow Armstrong. Line drive out towards left center field. That's going to touch down. That's going to roll. Hap racing towards third. They're going to send him. Here's Ian around third on his way to the plate. He will score. How about Pete Crow Armstrong here tonight? He's knocked in both runs, and the Cubs have the lead. And yeah, nice little two man game here with Hap and Crow Armstrong. Double double back in the second. This time it's a leadoff walk for Ian, and then he comes home in the second double of the night for PCA. And a called strike three on the outside corner. That's a thing of beauty, that curveball. Five strikeouts. We haven't really solved Imanaga yet. Doing a pretty good job of keeping the Phillies off balance, getting some punch outs. And a liner to left field for Marshawn. He's going to get another base hit. This one's going to be cut off by Hap. Marshawn's on his way to second. Hap bobbled it. Yeah, that'll be the second double of the year for Marshawn. Bush down to a knee. He'll take it himself. Stott is out. Three. Marshawn stranded at second. Well, in the eight games where Zach has had a loss or a no decision this year, he's had a little of the Cole Hamels bug to him. Got to get Wheeler some runs. And that's hit hard in a base hit out of the right center. And Belly's racing for second, and he's in. Oh, that's good baseball. Swing and a miss. Down on strike, six strikeouts. Trey Turner at the plate against Shota Imanaga. Over to third, charging Morrell. He's going to have to hurry to make this play, and it's not in time. And it's an infield hit to start this sixth inning. Oh, and Alec Bohm has been getting it done all year, and he was selected to his first All Star game. He'll be a starter. In the year, foul ground towards the tarp. 
And Bush not quite able to make the play. And let's see if Michael's all right. Wow. Yeah, he's good. That was a heck of a try. Was it ever? I mean, a dangerous play, brilliant effort. This always conjures up images of Anthony Rizzo climbing up on that tarp to make a play. But great reaction. Yeah. And a high fly ball to deep center field. And the Phillies will have the lead. Alec Bohm went down and golfed it. His 11th home run, his 69th and 70th RBIs of the year. It's a 3 2 Phillies lead. How happy are we that Michael Bush couldn't come up with that play behind first base? A great way to celebrate being an all star starter. And now Edmundo Sosa, who's one for two. Uh -oh, look, out. look out. Uh oh, that is not coming uh, down. No, it's not. No. That may be up there for a little while. Yep. Yeah, the, the kids, if you want to be shaking that yeah. and have that thing fall on your head. No. Or on someone else's head. Fly ball right field and Bellinger waiting on it. He's got it. Imanaga leaves after his 10th quality start of the year. He went six innings, giving up three runs on six hits, one walk, eight strikeouts. Well, it's still there. It's going to be there till tomorrow. We hope somebody records what happens up as we go to the sixth inning. Might be the last inning for Wheeler. Swing and a miss. Happ is down on strike. Seven strikeouts for Wheeler. And that one hit him. Fly ball center field. Rojas is out there. He'll wait and he'll make the catch. Zach Wheeler, six strong innings tonight, and he'll depart with a lead. It's going to be up to the Phillies bullpen to keep this at a one run game. Michael Bush hit the ball hard three times, singled in his first at bat, and a line drive and a base hit out into right field off the bat of Michael Bush. And Bush into second, and the Cubs have the tying run in scoring position. So here's Bellinger now. Two outs, man at second. Phillies three, Cubs two. Line drive out into right center, and it falls for a hit. Here comes Bush. He's in to score, and Belly delivers left on left with two strikes. And it's 3 3. But unfortunately, it's another no decision for Zach Wheeler. After the Phillies got a break on the Turner ball, and then Bone followed with a single. And then a pass ball put runners at second and third. Now it's time to capitalize. Infield is in. Fly ball, center field. P. Crow Armstrong is under it. Now he comes running in, gets behind it, makes the catch. Turner's coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. It's wide. And the Phillies retake the lead. It's a sack fly for Sosa. It's the speed of Trey Turner. It's a 4 3 game. Cubs have had two different leads tonight. This is the second lead of the night for the Phillies. Now Whit Merrifield is 0 for 3. Line drive, base hit it to right center field for Merrifield. Bohm's going to score. It's an RBI single for Witt. And the Phillies lead it 5-3. to three. Well, that is a huge base hit. Jose Alvarado trying to close out game two of this series against the Cubs. The Cubs made a run in the ball game last night, down 6-1, to one, entering the ninth. Line drive, base hit, David Bodie. So Bodie aboard. That will bring the tying run to the plate in the form of Nico Horner. Out toward right center field. Rojas is on the run, makes the grab, and hangs on as he falls forward. Two men down here in the ninth inning. And a great grab by Rojas in right center. 36,600 and change on their feet. A one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. Seven in a row for the Phils over the Cubs.